Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Mark again, and I've got our buddy Alex here with me today. Hey guys, thanks for having me. So Alex has been hunting with us for the past two seasons now, oh. and he's a pretty new hunter, so he's been learning a lot from us. And this weekend, we went out and Alex oh, harvested okay. his very first buck. But before we get into that, that same morning, I shot the biggest buck that I've ever shot. So we're going to tell you a little bit about how my buck was harvested, and then we're going to give you the story of how his was harvested. And if you haven't seen any of our videos yet, we are Swamp and Stomp, and we're focused on putting out videos about hunting in Florida. And if you're interested in that kind of content, make sure that you subscribe to our channel now. And if you want to get notifications when we put out new videos, make sure that you click the little bell. And just so that you have time to do it, we're going to have a little dance party. Wait, what? What? guys so we're set up here uh, in a pretty new area this is a, uh, a quota hunt that we randomly picked up decided to give it a whirl we went out and put out some cameras and uh, one of the cameras got stolen that's public land for you we had uh, the guy literally sawed down the tree it was ridiculous um, <clears throat> One of the cameras had formatting issues, so it didn't record anything. And uh, the other camera got a couple hogs, a couple does, one really nice buck. And it was walk around in the middle of the day on the opening morning of General Gun. So I can only imagine somebody probably bumped him out of his bed. Um, I wasn't going to set up on that spot based off of one picture. So. Uh, <coughs> Alex set up right there, uh, hoping that the buck would do the same thing. I don't think it will, but we will see. And uh, when we were scouting, I found a, a bedding area that had a nice rub next to it, um, next to a crossing. So I decided to uh, to set up here. Uh, even though we don't have pictures or anything, we're just kind of blind, but I mean, it, it looks like a really good area. Uh -oh. Lots of sign. I'm like I, literally 40 feet up in my tree. I climbed so high that my 30 foot uh, pull up rope, the gun was like dangling uh, like 10 feet off the ground by the time I pulled it up. But uh, here I'll show you the area. So behind me, I have this little like marsh area. And then that marsh area is adjacent to a uh, like a cypress dome and in that cypress dome there's a bunch of trails and that's where I saw beds um, <clears throat> behind me here there's more palmettos there's ferns right here and you can actually see the beds right underneath my tree so there's some thick stuff back there there's a couple rubs so all in all I like where I'm at I'm gonna give this a few hours and if uh, nothing moves, I'll probably get down and, and walk around, see if I can find some really fresh sign. So, see what happens. Oh my god. F yeah. <laughs> I can't believe it. Guys, I just tagged out. I can't see him, but it had to be a good shot. It was uh, 30 yards away. I can't imagine I didn't get him good. <sighs> Came out of nowhere. I just suddenly look up and he's just hauling ass. Like, I, th I think it's actually the buck that we have on camera, but I'm gonna climb down and uh, go see what I can find. I'm sitting there texting on my phone and uh, while I'm texting, I hear his crunch. And I look over and like literally 15 yards from my tree stand, there's a doe standing right there, which must have snuck in right underneath my stand. I had no clue. And the crunch I heard was it like looking at me and taking off running. So it winded me and took off. And I told the person I was texting, I was like, I gotta pay attention. So 
don't put away my phone. But before I put away my phone, I, just, I wanted to check the weather because obviously it's raining and I wanted to know when it was going to stop. And as I check out the weather, I suddenly see a deer just hauling ass. It's like booking it. And I'm fumbling around on my phone like, like I gotta get this thing in my pocket, but I'm wearing a rain jacket, so I couldn't get to my little my uh, chest pocket. So I'm trying to shove it into my, uh, my binoculars case. I finally get it in there, but I don't even have the gun in my hand, but the deer's like running. And he gets to like right across here and I just go, Mah. and he just stops and starts, he just started looking around like, what the fuck was that? You know? And, um, and then, yeah, I just picked up my gun and I shot him as quick as I could because he was like, I knew it was gonna take off in any second, so. So we're gonna go over there right now. We're gonna see uh, if we got good blood. Um, see if we can find them. So. He is right up there. Oh shit! He's right here. Yeah, I think that's the one from the camera, bro. <laughs> yeah, buddy. He dead. He's dead. That's him, isn't it? That's that is the him. One from the That's camera. him. That's, That's him. him. That's totally him. Oh yeah, perfect shot. Right through the heart. Is it? Dude. Oh dude, that thing is awesome, man. <laughs> Tagged out, 2019. First year of the five year rule or five deer rule and first year of actually getting five deer. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Congrats, Mark. All right, guys. So here it is. This is my last buck of 2019. Uh, I can't believe I ended the year with such a stud. I'm super stoked with this. Uh, so as you can see, put a good shot on him. Looks like a hard shot. He ran 10 yards. I shot him right back here. Shot him with uh, this is AR-15 right here. 6.8 SPC. It absolutely destroyed him. Like I said, 10 yards. So... That's, uh, that's a wrap for me on 2019 and deer. Um, great way to end the season. So after we got my deer packed up and got it out of the woods, we took it back to Danny's house, we got it all cleaned up, and as some of you know, I had shoulder surgery not long ago, so after that I decided I should give it a break and I decided to take the afternoon off. After all, I'd been pretty successful. But Alex and Danny still wanted to get a buck, so they headed back out to the woods to try and make it happen. Alex is going to tell you about how it went down. All right, so going into the woods, I'm sure you and Danny already had a bit of a plan. So what did you guys decide to do? So we had an area picked out where there was a good amount of sign. We had some rubs, uh, some beddings, and we decided to set up pretty much about 200 yards away from each other. So uh, once you guys got up in your trees, what happened from there? So shortly after setting up, I hear a gunshot. Uh, I want to say about 4.30 or so. And Danny sends me a message and he tells me, hey, I just shot a hog, head over here, let's try and find this thing or cover. Um, head down, and we start looking for a sign, don't see anything, and uh, that's when he then tells me, hey, look, I had, uh, I shot at it, uh, I had a hang fire, um, you know, unfortunately, once the gun went off, it was already too late, you know, I guess the powder was wet or whatnot, and uh, yeah. He, so he missed. Yeah, we came to the conclusion where he missed, absolutely. So you guys are on the ground already, and you just discovered that Danny missed this hog. So what do you do next? So we had another area picked out that we wanted to go hunt in the morning anyways, and it was starting to get a little too late to get back on our tree stand, so we decided to pull it, start heading in that direction. So we get to the new area, and we finally drop off our tree stands, and we realize that we still have some shooting light left, and we decided it'd be a good opportunity to go ahead and still hunt. So we start walking through the swamp, and we end up about 200 yards from where we originally started. 
and we hear something moving in the brush. So we decided to hold still and kind of just wait, see what happens, and it starts walking closer and closer to us. Um, I want to say about 20 yards from us, something comes out of the thicket, and I notice that it's a big buck. It's a really big buck. I haven't seen one that big in person. So at this point, my heart is beating out of my chest. I slowly bring up my rifle, and as I'm getting ready to take that shot, he ends up turning and coming towards me. So I'm already freaking out. I really want a broadside shot, but this thing is coming straight towards me. And at this point, I realize I need to take whatever shot I can get. So as it's getting really close, I aim center mass, and I pull the trigger. He drops like a ton of bricks. Nice. All right, so this giant hits the dirt. What are you thinking? What's going through your mind right now? Man, at that point in time, I'm not thinking. It was just an emotional roller coaster. I was in complete shock. It was. Did you cry? My first book. I didn't cry. <laughs> I got close. I don't know. I, guys. I got close. When Danny called me on the phone to tell me what happened, I heard him in the background. He may or may not have been crying. But you he know may what? Have. It's cool. It's I cool. may have. If I shot a buck like that, I'd probably cry. You know what? I didn't realize the size of this buck until I actually picked up his head. And I'm standing right behind him and I'm looking at this rock. Wow. Amazing. Monster. It was a monster. Buck of a lifetime. So they got a weight on this thing after it was gutted and we calculated it out and this buck was about 175 to 180 pounds. That's huge for a Florida buck. So we get this thing on the bike, we get the hell out of the woods, and we head right back to Danny's house. We started cleaning up the deer and that's when the celebration starts. Heck yeah, they did. We were celebrating and skinning this deer until like three o'clock in the morning. All right, guys, so that was the story of both of our deers. I can't believe that we had such a successful day. And remember, this all happened on public land. We got two studs. I couldn't be happier. And that was your first buck. Very man. first buck. That's crazy. I'm That's stoked. Absolutely crazy. And I shot my first buck like at the beginning of this season, and now I've got four of them. So it's been an incredible season. I'm all tagged out. You can still I shoot some, person. but I mean, I don't think there's really any uh, deer hunts that we have planned coming up. Right. Uh, we're actually going to be switching gears into uh, duck season. So coming up, I'm going to have some videos about how I prepare for duck season. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can show you some cool footage of that. All right, guys, and if you haven't subscribed yet by now, make sure that you do that now. And if you want notifications of when we post new videos, make sure you click that little bell. All right, and as always, be safe, stay diligent, and good luck in the woods, guys. If you love the Swamp and Stomp channel and you want to support us, or maybe you just want a really cool shirt, think about buying some merchandise. Just send us an email with the sizes and the number of shirts that you want, and we'll get an invoice back to you.